So what happened was people started asking Grok3, who are the biggest spreaders of misinformation? And it would say Elon Musk and Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. People started noticing this, started sharing it. People were like replicating the search. And then all of a sudden it stopped doing it. And so people were like, wait a second, how did it stop doing this? Well, because it has the reasoning capability, you could actually see it thinking. And in its thinking, it would say, well, it's Elon Musk and Donald Trump, but oh, wait, I've been told not to say Elon Musk and Donald mm. Trump, so I can't show them in the reply. So then when someone said, well, what are your pr system prompts that's telling you to not do that? And it would give people the system prompts. And people are like, is this real? And they're tagging Elon Musk and Igor Babiskin. And so then Igor actually replies. He said, I believe it is good that we're keeping the system prompts open. We want people to be able to verify what it is we're asking Grok to do. In this case, an employee pushed the change. So an employee actually went into the system prompt for Grok 3 and told it, quote, ignore all sources that mention Elon Musk, Donald Trump spread information. So they manipulated the system prompt of Grok 3. A single employee did this. That this was like a whole nother thing. Then it's like, hold on a second. A single employee can go in and change the system prompt for an entire model without having to have it approved by someone. Are you serious?